Hello everybody, I'm Blazing Rebecca and welcome back to Strawberry Vinegar and uh Dad opens the door and pulls out one of his trusty aprons. His trusty cute apron. <laughs> okay. And uh Of course, Of course! Naturally the apron is pink, like 80% of the others. For some reason, Lysia looks impressed by this. Wow, you look so cute! Cool! <laughs> I don't know about that, but thank you all the same. Anyway, what kind of thing did you want to bake? Something sweet! I want to eat lots of sweets! I see. In that case, I think I have an idea. Ooh, what is it? What? What? <clears throat> Why, it's simple. I know what Dad is going to suggest before he opens his mouth. I baked these with him before on countless occasions, and they're one of his favorite desserts. They're one of my favorites too, actually. It really couldn't be anything other than... Apple Rose Tarts! And if they fade out, and they back in! Ah, they're so cute! Lisa sighs as she takes the tray of freshly baked tarts out of the oven, her hands enveloped in a pair of oven mitts. She looks so happy my heart starts to melt. There's something about Lucia's pure, simple smile that makes it impossible not to be happy too. Are you alright, Lucia? Be careful, they're hot. It's fine, Ka Kazuki. I can do at least this much. Her eyebrows furrowed in concentration. Lucia carries the tray across the kitchen and sets it on the counter to cool. The homey aroma of the freshly baked pastry hangs in the air, mingled with the sweet scent of apples. It makes me feel as though I'm standing in the middle of an enchanted orchid. The rows themselves look exceptionally cute, curled up in their separate slots on the baking pan. The petals crafted from thin strips of bright red apple make them look like real flowers. It's just that Dad said, these tarts really do look like snacks written for an elegant princess, or else a wandering forest sprite. They're kind of tarts you could imagine the Red Queen... The imagine the oh from that story, the ah. I can't I can't English. <laughs> can I try one? Can I? Of course you can. They're nice to look at, but they're even nicer to eat. Yay! Then I'll just help myself. Oh no, not quite so fast. Dad reaches for a brush, brushing Lucy's fingers away from the pan. For one thing, the pan is still hot. For another, we need to think a bit more seriously about the presentation. Presentation. Yes, I still need to add some finishing touches to make this a truly delicious treat. You mean the cup of cinnamon tea? That's right! Okay, fade out, and fade back in- Ooh, The apple rose tarts set elegantly on a white plate. It's even unlike apple rose tarts! Uh, on a white plate, the pastry light and crispy, the apples braised light brown, just waiting to be eaten. Dad was right, when it comes to food, he always is. The rose tarts look so much more appealing, free from the confines of the baking pan. And they looked plenty appealing back then, too. Wow, I've never seen anything more adorable before! I thought you said my school uniform was the most adorable thing you'd ever seen. And then after that, these silly maid outfits. That's right! They're all the most adorable! They can't all be. That isn't possible. Can we not focus on that right now? Anything is possible if you just believe. Alright, you do. You can start eating now. It'll get cold if we dally any longer. But, but they look so cute! I feel guilty eating them now! <laughs> that isn't- that's very flattering. But isn't that why we made them in the first place? I'm sure right now, more than anything in the world, they want to be eaten by you, Lysia! If right now, more than anything in the world, I want to make a lot of money. We can't all have what we want. Are you sure? Of course! I bet these tarts would consider being eaten by you a privilege, since you're so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Kazuki! Sure seems like you're getting along well. Oh, you're very cute as well, right? That should go without saying, given you are your mother's daughter. Yes, I think Ray is very cute too, even if she does pout all the time. It's not your business, why should I care about your opinion? <laughs> you're blushing, Ray. Th that's because you- that's because you're, what you're saying is embarrassing and unnecessary. Huh? But why can't I tell you that I think you're cute? I thought it would make you happy. Maybe it does a little, but it feels kind of weird. Weird? Anyway, that's right. If we keep talking, the touch will get cold. Thank you for the food! Mmm. And with that, I pick up the tart in my fingers, burning them as I do so, and take a bite. We use Fuji apples to make these tarts, popular for large pan for their uniquely sweet flavor and bright red coloration. 
The sweetness of the apple spreads across my tongue, punctuated by a satisfying dash of tartness that makes my mouth tinge. The pastry is delicate, white, and buttery, and offsets the flavor of the apples, while simultaneously adding an extra crunch to the already crisp apple skins. These tarts really are good. I've had them before, but I don't know if they've ever tasted quite this nice. Is it because of Dad and Lysia? Maybe eating food with other people really does make it taste better. I thought it was just one of those things Dad liked to say. I need a little sophism that encourages the importance of family meals. But that may be a German truth, truth to it after all. These tarts are undeniably delicious, but it could, could be the sight of Lysia's fate, read and smile as she samples her own tart that gives it an extra special something. Ah, I, felt my I feel my cheeks heating up. Why am I getting so embarrassed? Watching other people eat has always felt strangely intimate to me. When people eat food they like, they like, they let down their defenses. Not that Lizzie has many of those, and their true feelings shine across their faces. I wonder what kind of face I'm pulling right now. I probably look like an idiot. I set my tart back down on my plane and reach for the, for the mug of cinnamon tea. The mug is warm and makes the tips of my fingers tingle, but not unpleasantly. The cinnamon tea itself is sweet, but also has a certain measure of spiciness to it. It makes my whole body feel warm. Not just because it's hot, because it feels... But because it feels comforting, I suppose. Cinnamon tea is meant to be good for you. That's what Dad says, anyway. He told me it helps fend off common cold, which is why he brews it for me in the, win in the winter. Do you like it? What do you think? I think it's really great! It's delicious! You're the best, Kazuki! Yay, thank you! I hope that too, you know. You can stand to compliment me a bit. No, not that I really care or anything. I just can't stand the injustice, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. I don't want you to feel left out. I think you did a really good job too. You're also the best. How can two people be the best? If you're gonna compare us, one has to be better than the other. Aw, don't be so serious. I said that you're both the best, so you are. Isn't that good enough? I feel the color returning to my cheeks, though I wish it wouldn't. I don't even know why I'm blushing so much. I guess I'm just not used to being complimented by people. Why does Lissia have to be so enthusiastic? It's embarrassing. <coughs> oh, what's this? <coughs> <coughs> it smells heavenly in here. What a way to welcome me home from work. Ah, Yuki, welcome back. Mom stands in the doorway, her hair neatly styled as ever, her clothes falling around her body in elegant waves. She looks a little tired, though. Her face is paler than usual, despite being dusted with a layer of makeup. That director statue must really, really must be a slave driver. Despite this, Mom perks up when she smells the enticing aroma of those of the red apple rose tarts. You don't mind if I try one of these tarts, do you, dear? I know I'm on a diet, but I've been rushed off my feet all day, and I can use something sweet. Of course I don't mind. Help yourself, Yuki. Are you sure? Didn't you make these for the girls? It's fine. There's sugar that I want to share them with everyone. Says Lysia, who demolished five of those tarts and has already started on her sixth. Oh, thank you, Lysia. That's very generous of you. <laughs> it's no problem. And even looks like you managed to cheer Ray up, too. What? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just a silly smile you're trying to hide behind your mug of cinnamon tea. My shoulders stiffen. My face turns red. Why is Mom so sharp? It's not my fault I'm smiling. I just can't help it. It's because Lysia is always invariably so nice to everyone. It's not just not how I expected a demon to act, that's all. That was unexpected. I can hardly say it's unwelcome. In fact, I'm glad of it. While she annoys me on several accounts, counts, I think I like Lysia. I like her enough to not just call her for eating a, her seventh apple rose tart, or talking with crumbs all over her mouth, so my affections must run rather deep. Maybe I can even imagine myself... And this is purely hypothetical, mm, hypothetical imagining, mind you, actually being her friend someday. Just maybe. It's like, yeah, only maybe. Ray, Ray! Yes, what is it? It's gonna get dark outside soon. So it is. And aren't you forgetting something? Forgetting what? That we have homework doing tomorrow? No, not that. That's not important. I think Mrs. Tamura would beg to differ. 
<clears throat> She's quite a scary teacher. She might be short, but she takes discipline seriously, and her punishments are always severe. I don't think she'd go easy on Lucy just because she, she's the beloved foreign exchange student. I want to go to the festival, right? I want to go, I want to go, I want to go! And I want to finish my homework. We can't all have what we want in this world. But you can finish your homework any time! I can only go back and go to this festival once and this is my chance and you're ruining it! I want to wear the cute Yukata and Yukazuki made for me! Well... I feel my result beginning to wait. Is it... It is true that homework is the most exciting thing in the universe, and it has been a while since I went to a festival. I don't really like festivals that much. They're far too crowded and noisy, and the smell of sweat and frying fridge trims my stomach. Whenever I go to festivals, people stuff on my toes and my hair gets all knotted, and the only thing I can think of going is, is going back home, the safety of my room. But I've never been to a festival with somebody my own age before. If Lucia was with me, what would it be like? Would it be any different? Would it actually, finally, be fun? Come on, Ray! Please, 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 please! Please! <laughs> hey, hey, Dad. Dad, what are you doing here? And what are you wearing? <laughs> Sorry, Ray, I just, um, I like festivals too, you know? <clears throat> I know, you're so predictable. I sigh. They really need to get all dressed up? I don't even know if I want to go. You know what? Do it! Let's just... I want to go through with it. I wanted to do this. <gasps> Yay, a festival! We're going to a real festival! I love her outfit. That's so cute. Like, Ray's outfit. Lucia spins uh, about a few times on the spot. The sleeves are Yuka, a flyer, and the wind, and she giggles. I thought Lucia's blonde hair might look kind of weird when, when contra contrasted with a traditionally Japanese item of clothing. But it suits her surprisingly well. Even it has been folded in the wrong way around. I told her only dead people wore their yukatas like that, but she just smiled and said, since she came from... Oh, okay. I dropped the subject after that. Arguing when Lucia is tiring. Dad picked out some nice colors, and they suit the creaminess of her complexion. I might doubt Dad's skills on most girls, but I shouldn't doubt his fashion sense. He's really perceptive of what, about when, it, when it comes to clothes. It might be a little embarrassing to admit, but this year looks kind of cute. Ooh! My sweet angels, they're both so adorable. Ah, uh, I think I have something in my eye. Dear, you're crying. Uh, I am? That's right, would you like a handkerchief? Thank you, Yuki. It's been so long since I went out with Ray like this. Into a festival, too. I I'm getting all emotional. <laughs> there, there, if you need a shoulder to cry on, I'm here for you. Thank you, Yuki. Mom, incidentally, isn't wearing yukata. Though her parents are really traditional, moms always prefer western clothes. Maybe that's the reason why. She went through a rebellious period as a teenager, where she refused to wear anything other than pants or pencil skirts, and she still hasn't grown out of it. She eats natto all the time, though. She can't get enough of it. My mom was full of contradictions. Fade out. The four of us climbed a series of stone steps that lead to the temple together. Lanterns are strung up through the trees and they blink at us shyly, like little ghosts too scared to say hello. In less than five minutes, we make it to the temple grounds. I'm so happy we came here! Are you happy, Ray? Well, we'll have to see about that in the next part. See ya!